MetroTab, um, Boomala MetroTab asks, do you think that through the power of the scientific method and the ambitious nature of mankind, we, the human species, will one day reach the level of immortality, conquer the shores of the galaxy, and find pragmatic solutions to all problems we face? In other words, continued, do you think that there is a limit to scientific progress, and why not? Okay, that is a very in-depth question. First of all, we will. Re okay, will we reach the level in immortality? We'll reach. I believe that we. Ha hmm. Well, I don't know how far we can go with because it's not really our understanding. It's not really our research. It's not really our intelligence that gets in the way of these transcendent potentials. It is our means. And our means is going to be greater and greater, but will it ever get to the point where we can do things that we thought we think nowadays we could never do? I mean, back we had Leonardo da Vinci was predicting tanks and all sorts of other weird things I can't even remember right now. Uh, he was predicting these things based on the natural world he saw around him. He, he predicted submarines. Uh, there's all sorts of different people that predicted some amazing stuff. And so, in the past, we've always predicted the future. Now, things like fighting off entropy, or entropy. Can we ever defeat entropy, or will the universe eventually get lost in a sense of uniformity that we can never pull it out of? Or will we find a way that we can pull black matter and white matter out of nothingness and create universes on our own? And then beyond all that, if we could create matter out of nothing by having both the negative and the positive aspects of matter out of a seemingly nothingness, what might have happened at the Big Bang, if we can do that, would that not yet then be another limit? We would be like, well, that's great. We can make all the stuff we want. But is there more to it? What more do we want? Can we create heaven? We've, uh, you can create a technological paradise to compare to what we have. You could have anything you wanted. You could, instead of programming on a computer, you could program actual reality. We could be essentially gods if we were patient enough. We could probably be everlasting, like we would understand and be able to bring people back from the brink of death. I think a lot of what our goal is in the long term is to understand both our origins and what it means to be a god and if there is one out there somewhere. There's some sort of next level. We're always wondering, is there a next level? And it's something we can't conceive. So I think the means that I'm talking about that we may be limited to is we may never be able to predict or guess for the future, and therefore never be able to achieve that distant understanding of what divinity truly is, or if it exists at all. Obviously, once we've gotten basically complete understanding of our universe, it's going to be kind of hard. Uh, well, let's say... Well, that's the, this is the number one thing that links totalic understanding of our universe to the divine, the origin of the universe. It all is based on that. If there is some wonderful scientific explanation for the beginning of the universe that has nothing to do with divinity, at that point, I believe religion in itself is destined or very likely to be defeated. I think that, that uh, the origin of the universe, if we found that it had to be created by something and we don't know what it was, 
even though we understand everything else about this universe. If that was the situation, we may be stuck in always not having the means to really figure it out. So, or maybe we'll find some technology that lets us see God in a way, which would be quite amazing. And in a way, I almost think that this universe and the potential for understanding that we have within it is an extremely limited one. For example, here's a really good example. We believe that in the law of contradiction, that you cannot both be in a room and not be in a room at the same time. That would be contradictory, and so far, logically, we have everything has made sense that we can follow the law of contradiction as if it was a law to explain all of reality. So, I I believe that there is that is a kind of a linear view. I believe that is one dimension of our understanding, and I believe that if we are to progress, there is some sort of other level out there that we have to figure out eventually somehow be able to delve into that would give us a more a less linear view but yeah will we solve all the problems we face well fusion power has the potential to give us all the energy and all of the material that we could ever need um, we would have unlimited resources if we were to perfect fusion technology we would probably have immortality, or relative immortality, if we perfected DNA technology. What other problems do we have that we face? I'm not sure. I think that basically covers a lot of what we're worried about. And immortality is not necessarily a good thing. Um, another, oh, another thing that we feel like we need to conquer is the distance that we have between us and other realities, like another solar system nearby. Um, I think the only way we can defeat that is with wormhole technology. Uh, there's, uh, there are people that say that there's a good chance that while our eyes may tell us there are only three physical directions, not including time, you know, there are a lot of mathematical equations that explain some very special quantum phenomena uh, by including 11 physical dimensions. I don't know them specifically, it gets very deep into math, but once again, I think I can predict those potentials. So it's a long answer to a rather complicated question. Um, so the result is is there a limit to scientific progress? Not that we can see right now. So, next one, Bumala Metrotab asks, if religion either as an, has the abstract idea or specific religion would be true, why has it literally swam in the pool of conflict for the entire duration of human history? Well, the reason for that is because it does exist outside of this universe. We cannot use the tools from within to discover s information on the outside. That's a scientific thing. It's something about a closed system. A closed system can know nothing about what exists outside of its closed system. It must be observed from outside the closed system to be able to gain understanding of it. Um, and that's the reason. That is why it has always been a conflict. It's because we can't understand it. I don't know if that's true permanently. I don't think that statement that I've said previously has been proven. But so far it's found itself to be quite true. Um, the next question is, will you homeschool your kids or send them to school? Depends on the quality of the school and how much time I have to spend, um, or etc. 